If you think you have a defective relay or you can't get things to work, here's how to test the relay. So I've got uh, 12 volt power uh, running uh, through these two, and I've unhooked my timers, so you know there's lots of uh, connectors on there, but basically it, it's just uh, positive power through the red wire all the way through all these connectors and ground you know through the black wire all the way through. So I don't have the um, in one and in two are these uh, two wires right here, and I don't have them connected to anything. And right now, uh, so the right now the relay is just sitting there. Uh, the green light means it does have you know power uh, running to it through uh, these two terminals um, through all here. But um, but yeah, nothing's triggering it. So to trigger it manually, all you do is you just take the signal wire that's going to like this is the in one or the yeah in one wire, and I'm just going to touch it to positive power and the red light goes on, it shows 12 volts, and that means that the relay is functioning fine. I'm going to take uh, the, the signal wire going to in 2, and same thing, touch that to the uh, positive power. The other red light on the relay goes on, and I've got negative 12. So that means this relay uh, module is functioning uh, great, and I've got it wired up correctly. So that's how to test the relay module. Um, the uh, one thing I think people might be missing is there's a jumper block right here. You can see it says uh, low, common, and high. It's upside down in the video. So for a high level trigger, which means uh, positive power, those, uh, those jumpers have to be set so common and high are jumped together. And other than that, there's no other settings on the, on the relay board. All right, that's how to test the relay.